am Lucretia Renee Church. This is Three Minute Matters. I'm discussing topics from a biblical perspective within three minutes. And I've got a few tips on how to finish your year strong. Let's go. I'm sure you've heard the statement, and it's not about how you start, but how you finish. When I first heard this, I was like, hmm, then it clicked. Starting something is important, but Finishing it is beneficial. Think about it this way. If you don't start something, you'll have nothing to finish. But if you don't finish what you started, then starting it was pointless and it was a mismanagement of time. And nobody's got time for that at all. And so before you start something, remember to count the cost and purpose in your heart that you're going to finish it. As children of the Most High God, it's in our DNA to finish. In Genesis, the first book of the Bible, the second chapter, our Heavenly Father finished creation and the formation of man on the sixth day. And in the Gospel of John, the 19th chapter, Jesus, our big brother, finished on the cross his assignment of access to redemption. Now that we've established that, how exactly do you finish strong? Well, here it is. A few things that you could do. Number one, keep the faith. Maybe your assignment is not at its final state and it's almost January the 1st. That's all right. Don't stop your forward progress. All things are possible with God. Finish the year believing that God will finish what he started in and through you. You never know what God is going to do. I've seen him do a lot of big things in a little amount of time. Number two, bring to completion everything within your power and stop procrastinating. Just get it done. Don't let it fall through the cracks because of pure laziness. Number three, acknowledge and celebrate your God-assisted accomplishments today. Use them to motivate you to finish out the next leg of the race. Then when the clock strikes midnight and the new year starts, you can throw your hands up, lift your voice, and praise God for all that he's done. Number four, mend what can be mended. It's not too late to mend that broken relationship. This is very important because maybe you and a family member are at odds. Go and make it right. Unresolved issues is one major thing that can block a finish. This is huge. It's really important because reconciliation is one of the greatest shows of strength in God's eyes. Number five, if you feel that you've gotten off track in your life, get back on it and start running. If you need to repent about something, do that. If you need to refocus because you got distracted, do that. No matter what you need to do, just get back on track. There you have it. A few ways to finish your year strong. Remember, strength and joy is not only in the start, but in the finish. If you like these messages, give me a like, a heart, a comment, and as always, share it with a friend. It's been real. Three minute matters.